हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल माय नेम इज़ प्रियंद्र कुमार एंड टुडे वी विल लर्न हाउ टू क्रिएट अ डायनेमिक ग्राफ विद द हेल्प ऑफ चेकबॉक्स बटन्स द फॉर्म कंट्रोल्स चेकबॉक्स बटन्स सो एज यू आर सीइंग आई हैव क्रिएटेड अ ग्राफ सो देयर आर थ्री चेकबॉक्स अवेलेबल हेयर एंड the data points for call offered call answered and the abandoned percent is available abandoned percent is is available on the secondary axis so i have given the control of this graph with the check boxes so if i will uncheck the call offered call answered then the data points will be hidden for the call offered and call answered so whatever will be checked in the check box the only for that matrix the data point will be visible over the graph okay so now i will tell you how you can create this graph in the excel okay so i'm just going to file and click to new worksheet and click on create to create a new workbook okay so or you could have used control n to create a new workbook basically we will create this graph on a new workbook so i will close the existing workbook okay just close this now i will tell you from the starting how could you uh, create this graph so i'm creating a data sheet first of all i have to create few data points to using this uh, graph okay so i am creating the data points i am taking a column that is date i am creating some dummy dates from 1st jan till 10th jan okay so you can use alt e i s to creating the running date okay so now i am creating call offered call answered and call abandoned okay and the last one which is abandoned percentage fine now we will create the data points for these so i am creating the dum random number using the rand between 800 Eight hundred to one thousand. Similarly, for the call answered, rent between six hundred to eight hundred, and just fill it down. For the call offered formula, will be call uh, sorry call abandoned formula will be call offered minus call answered. So just fill it down. Call abandoned percentage will be call abandoned divided by call offered. Fill down and change the format. Okay. So now data is ready. Just copying and paste a special value. Okay. So now our data is ready to creating the graph. So first of all, I will create another worksheet. Okay. So I am inserting another worksheet, or you could use Alt I W to creating a new worksheet. Okay. So I have created new worksheet, naming it graph. Going to the developer tab, insert and form controls. Select check box. This one. Okay. Just click it and drag it over the seat. Okay. Now, just rename the check box. I'm renaming it as call offered. okay so now just copy this check box and paste another so now there is another check box is available and name it as call answered okay now copy it and paste it so now put the name of third check box as call abandoned percentage okay these are the three matrix which we have to showcase on the graph just select all check box put on the top go to the format and to align it as top and also we can distribute 
it as horizontally okay fine now go to the view remove the grid lines fine now right click call offered format controls and cell links go to the data sheet select cell g1 so i am linking it with the data sheet g1 similarly for call offered right click go to the form control go to the data sheet and select g2 and similarly for third one format controls go to the data sheet g3 so we have given the link on data sheet g1 g2 and g3 so i have checked two text box now look at this so at g1 and g3 is displaying true okay so now i'm putting some formula here equal to date equal to call offered equal to c1 which is call answered equal to e1 which is called abandoned percentage so these are the matrix which we have to showcase on the graph so just format this header now we will put some formula here so for date i will just can put equal to formula okay so i will put the equal to a2 which is the date okay we can drag it down so date is available now for call offered i will use a formula just look at carefully i'm using if z1 okay then i will use the call offered which is v2 else n a bracket start and bracket close and the final bracket close so we have used g1 or we get we could have used the if g1 equal to true okay so both will be running okay so now just fill down it okay the same formula we will use in the call for the call or answered but this time we will take z2 which is for the option uh, sorry checkbox call answered then c2 comma n a the same formula just look at this yeah so now just close the bracket g2 is for the condition whether checkbox is checked or unchecked just so it is showing has an a because z2 is blank okay so now i'm putting the same formula in the abandoned percentage if g3 now i'll take the g3 then e2 else and a break it close okay so just change the format as percentage fill down it fine i hope now it is clear so if i will uncheck the call abandoned then now look at this call abandoned percentage is showing the has an is a, an error or if i uncheck all the check boxes then all the data is displaying error okay so just check all the data select the data go to the insert column chart select the first one chart okay so now column chart is available select the chart and control x or cut the chart basically and paste it on the graph sheet okay now we will format this chart so double click on the legends select bottom close select the grid lines delete it we can choose the format from here from the design so i have chosen this design now okay let me make it visible for you now graph is ready so now but the uh, chart uh, basically the chart title is still not available okay so first of all i am just putting abandoned percentage is 9000 make the visible of the abandoned okay so right click the this var select the format data series and select the secondary axis okay so and now select again same bar 
राइट क्लिक चेंज सीरीज चार्ट टाइप ओके क्लिक इट एंड सेलेक्ट दी लाइन विद मार्कर्स क्लिक ओके नाउ लाइन ग्राफ इज अवेलेबल नाउ वी कैन चेंज द फॉर्मू फॉर्मूला अगेन द सेम जस्ट रैक दी अब फॉर्मूला ओके सो नाउ लाइन चार्ट इज अवेलेबल सो नाउ वी कैन फॉर्मेट द लाइन चार्ट सेलेक्ट द लाइन एंड राइट क्लिक गो टू द फॉर्मेट डेटा सीरीज एंड सेलेक्ट द मार्कर ऑप्शन वोल्ट इन सेलेक्ट द राउंडेड वन मार्कर फिल गो टू द सॉलिड सेलेक्ट ब्लैक वन गो टू द लाइन कलर सॉलिड लाइन सेलेक्ट एनी वन ऑफ द कलर गो टू द लाइन स्टाइल स्मूथ इट लाइन चेक क्लोज सो नाउ आर लाइन हैज बीन फॉर्मेटेड ओके सो नाउ स्टिल चार टाइटल इज नॉट अवेलेबल हियर सो नाउ वी विल इनेबल द चार टाइटल ओके फॉर दैट जस्ट चेक द चार्ट एंड गो टू द ले आउट एंड चार टाइटल्स एब अब चार्ट ओके चार टाइटल इज अवेलेबल नाउ जस्ट रीनेम इट एज प्रोसेस परफॉर्मेंस ओके सो टाइटल इज अवेलेबल नाउ गो टू द इंसर्ट सेप एंड सेलेक्ट अ रेक्टेंगल एंड ड्रैग इट हेयर एंड गो टू द सेप स्टाइल एंड सेलेक्ट ग्रे वन एंड राइट क्लिक ऑन द सेप एंड सेंड बैक नाउ चेक बॉक्स आर विजुअल बेसिकली सो नाउ आर ग्राफ इज वर्किंग नाउ एंड इट इज कंप्लीटेड गो टू द व्यू रिमूव द हेडिंग्स ओके टू चेंज द लुक एंड फील सो ग्राफ इज बेसिकली रेडी एंड वी कैन चेक इट टू रिमूव द एवेंडन लाइन हैज बीन रिमूव्ड कॉल आंसर रिमूव्ड ओके द कॉल आंसर If I have removed, just look at the data for call answered is showcasing error. That is why it is not showing on the graph. So just hide that sheet and check now. So now it working perfectly. I have, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Okay, so please practice it. This is not much difficult. Thank you so much for the watching the video.